Hey friends and happy day. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Let's make our day even better by praising God today. Come on, get on up, move. favorite kind of weather. I personally love rainy weather. When we think about it, knowing the weather kind of impacts how much we can do in our day. What we can do, what we should wear, where we should go, and so much more. I mean, we like to think that it will always be ready for it, but sometimes it's simply unpredictable. Atmospheric conditions, or the weather, is always changing. That's one reason why I genuinely love God's Word. It never changes. And I want to share a Bible story with you today that actually includes a detail about a weather phenomenon called a drought, or a period of really low rain. Like, let's see what's going on. It's clear that God is in control of the weather, okay? Now, have you ever tried to make it rain? We can't make it start, we can't make it stop. We're not God. And that leads us directly into our main question and answer. We will think about this question and answer as we learn about our Bible story. So here it is. How many gods are there? Well, let me tell you the answer. There is only one true God who deserves the worship. And that might seem obvious to you, but many people don't believe like this. Like in today's Bible story about Elijah and the widow. Let's check it out. Elijah the prophet spoke to Ahab, the evil king of Israel, and gave him a message. 
There will be no dew or rain for the next few years unless I command it. This will certainly happen. Oh no. Then God told Elijah to go to a place near a stream. God said the ravens would provide food for Elijah to eat. So Elijah obeyed God. The ravens brought him bread and meat and he drank water from the stream. After a while, the stream dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then God told Elijah to go to a small village. God said a widow in the town would provide for Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. When Elijah got to the gate of the city, he saw a widow gathering wood. He called to her, please bring me a little water so I can drink. As she went to get it, he added, please bring me a piece of bread too. But the women told Elijah, I don't have bread. I only have a little bit of flour and oil. The woman and her son were planning to eat one more meal before they died from hunger. Don't be afraid, Elijah said. Go and prepare the meal, but first bring me a small loaf of bread. Then make some for yourself and your son. God says you will not run out of flour or oil until rain comes again. So the woman prepared the meal. She, Elijah, and everyone in her household had enough to eat, and she did not run out of flour or oil, just like the Lord had said. Sometime later, the woman's son got sick, and he stopped breathing. Elijah took the boy upstairs and laid him on the bed. He cried out to God, stretched himself out over the boy three times, and cried out to God again. Lord, my God, please let this boy live again, Elijah prayed. The Lord listened to Elijah, and the boy's life came into him again. He was alive. Elijah led the boy to his mother. She said to Elijah, Now I know you are a man of God and the Lord really does speak through you. God miraculously provided through Elijah to give food to the widow and life to the widow's son. Many years later, God miraculously provided through his own son, Jesus. Jesus is greater than Elijah. In Jesus, God provides salvation and life to everyone who trusts in him. During a drought, no rain means no water to drink for people or animals, and no water to grow crops, and no rain means no food, especially for someone like the widow who likely didn't have money to buy food brought in from other countries. But this was a very scary time, kind of like what we're going through right now. The widow explained to Elijah that she was preparing her last meal because she expected to die. But God had a special plan for her that would bring him glory. Because she obeyed Elijah's words and sacrificed part of her last meal for Elijah, God brought a blessing beyond what she could ever imagine. He provided in a miraculous way. Throughout the drought, the widow's flour and oil never ran out, like ever. And when her son died, God even worked through Elijah to bring him back to life. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. But even in those crazy times, God still had a plan. Elijah and the widow believed God's word and obeyed just like we should. I mean, he has a plan for each and every one of us, and we can trust that God's plan for us are good. We just need to be obedient. So even when things get absolutely crazy and unexpected things happen in life, we can trust that God will take care of us. Elijah and the widow are a perfect example of not only how God will provide for us, but how we can always trust the one true God. So how can you trust God today? Is there a situation that you're dealing with that seems absolutely impossible? Well, let me remind you, there's only one true God, and He has a plan for you. We all have plans, and I have plans too, and they include orange soda and zebra cakes. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.